Today, you're going to be getting back your background and your pumpkin. Your pumpkin should have it outlined in either black or white. It should have these curved lines painted. It should have the large polka dots and the half polka dots. When you're this far today, you're ready to move on. So some of you might still need to do some more work. On the supply table, you're going to be getting one paintbrush and you're going to be getting a Q-tip. You will also need scissors and glue today, and paint, but those are already at your table. You're going to start off by cutting out your pumpkin. Take your time. Cut around the edge. I don't want to see any bubble cutting. Careful not to cut your stem off. You can either keep your black outline, or it's okay if part of it gets cut off, but I would prefer it if you kept as much of that black outline as you could. Your scraps get thrown in the garbage. Now you can glue your pumpkin down onto your background. Remember that when we're gluing, we're using dots of glue this year, no glue smoothers. I don't want to see any big thick outlines of glue, I also don't want to see any big puddles of glue in the center. Getting those dots nice and close to the edge so that my, way my edges don't stick up. And you can put a few dots in the center as well. Help hold that down. Flip it over and glue it down. So if you had to do some more painting today, you need to be extra careful that you're not smearing that paint. Gluing it down. Give it a little back rub if you need to, but these should glue pretty easily. The last thing we need to do today is to finish adding our polka dots. If you were like me and didn't make your dots too big, you're going to be using a Q-tip and the paintbrush today. However, if you painted and your polka dots were so big that they almost touch the lines and you're not going to have room to add a bunch of polka dots, you're only going to be using the paintbrush then. So you're going to need to make that decision. Can I fit both kinds of dots in there or not? So since I left so much room, I'm going to start with the Q-tip. I'm just going to dip it in, just dipping. I'm not getting a whole bunch of paint. I'm going to add polka dots down the edge of those pumpkins. My line's going to curve a little bit. And by curving it, it's going to give it that look like there is some form. If you have enough room, you can add two dots or two rows of dots. Curving it just a little bit. And do the same out here. I'm not just putting the dots all over the place. Because if I do that, it's not going to look like it's curved. So notice I'm kind of curving those lines just a little bit. It should match this line. Remember, not all of you guys are going to be able to use the Q-tip. Some of you might not have enough room. Also, some of you may not be able to get two rows of dots in. If that's the case, don't sweat it. So since this one, I'm getting a little close, I probably won't be able to get a full row of them in. Now I need to go and do the other side as well. When you're done with your Q-tip, it goes in the garbage. Some of you might not even get to use the Q-tip. That all depends on how much space you left. For those of you that didn't leave enough space, you're going to use the back of the paintbrush. Not the bristles part, the back of it. Right? And for those of you that did have enough room to use the Q-tip, you will also be using the back of this if you have room. So I'm just going to dip that into my paint. I'm going to be making some little dots. Once again, I'm curving them. 
it's not going to curve as much in this middle section. Make sure to dip it in when you need some more paint. It starts running out. So remember, because I don't have quite enough room up here at the top, I'm going to start a little bit further down. Now I can do my other side. So I've got this side done. Notice we went from big polka dots to medium-sized polka dots to baby polka dots. Careful not to get your hand in that wet paint as you work. All right, so I am completely finished. I did dots with the Q-tips. I also did dots with the end of the paintbrush, not the bristle side. Notice too that I didn't put any in between these big polka dots. That's fine because if you start getting in these gaps, I think you're gonna lose track of your rows going up and down, and then it's gonna lose that sense of form. When you're all done with these, paintbrush goes in the paintbrush bin because we still need to wash out the ends. Q-tips go in the garbage, scraps go in the garbage, and your finished painting goes in the drying rack. Oh, I almost forgot. You may also add polka dots along the stem if you would like. That's your decision. You don't have to. All right, when you're done, take care of your stuff. You can read or weave or free draw when you're finished.